She was on with breakups. I actually just went through a breakup myself, um, which sucks. Thanks, nobody. And you know, it sucks. Like I hate breaking up because you know, if you break up with someone and then even hearing that person's name triggers you, right? Yeah. Right. And it sucks because I didn't realize there were so many people in New York City named Daddy, and it's like. <laughs> Conundrum, you know? I think there's a couple in the crowd. It's like so. <laughs> Ugh, I was in Jeremiah, they still make those. And it's weird, he was like white, like very white. He was like too white, you know what I mean? He was like prairie white, you know what I mean? Like Charles Dickens novel white, you know? Like he might die of consumption white. Like it was too much. <laughs> Too much. Like, there's an illustrated book about his life. Like, it was too much. But like, he was also very woke about the issues. He was super woke. So, like, I used to call him my white woker. I thought that was real cute. <laughs> we had sex, and I'd be like, "Ooh, winter's coming." Like, it was like real cute. <laughs> he called me Khaleesi. I. Uh... <laughs> Ugh. It just sucked though, cause like he like it sucks when you get broken up with by a good person. Like he really was a good person despite being white. He like, cause he was like he was like, works on climate change policy. That's what he did. He works on climate change policy, trying to save the environment, save the world. And like I still do cocaine cause I'm afraid of fat days. So like I knew <laughs> I was the problem in the relationship. So like that happened. We broke up, and then like uh, I was hoeing around. I had a bit of a van page. And I got an STD, y'all, yeah! <laughs> Thank you, Sharia, and no one else. <laughs> Slut shame <me> ass. <laughs> has, this, has anyone ever had an STD before? <laughs> Thank you. See, you know what? I'm saying you. Take, I'm buying you a tequila. You earned that shit. <laughs> She's like, oh, man, yeah, hey! <laughs> like, what's her name? And she's giving her real name, she says the other thing, y'all. Bad job number that. Real name. Oh, you get your friend's name? No. <laughs> My name is Rosa. Uh, <laughs> it was wild. I, so I had something, and I had to go to a free clinic because my health insurance is prayer. It's not working out. <laughs> I looked down, I saw something funny. I was like, ooh, I can't light incense? Oh no! So I went, and I had to go to City MD, free, it was a free clinic, and I had to go, and I talked to a very rude doctor. Because he was like, what are your symptoms? And I felt like Alicia Keys. Because I was like, this dick is on fire! Um, I was pretty bad. So, that happened. And then he was like, okay, you need to pee in this cup. And I was like, right in front of you, I charge fifteen dollars for that. And... <laughs> That's expensive. So, he and the cop ran the results. They came back, and I had gonorrhea. Which, in case you guys don't know, gonorrhea is commonly called the clap. And gonorrhea usually comes with chlamydia, which I know they were friends. That's weird. Um, but chlamydia is commonly called the drip. And here's the thing. Why are we naming our STDs after emojis? Like, why are we doing that? Because you have to sell your past partners. And I want to send a text that's like, hey, Steve, eggplant, drip, drip, drip. <laughs> It's a weird text. Please block me. <laughs> Inappropriate. But I, I fucking, I hate it. I hate being single, man. Cause like, I'm like deep in my 30s and single, which is like a bad, like I'm Disney single. Like you know what Disney single is? Like the kind of thing where you start singing to the mice in your apartment, like that level of single. Where you see a mouse scurry by and you're like, look at this stuff, isn't it neat? Like that level. <laughs> It's not cute anymore. <laughs> like, I was so single that I did a show the other day where I was like, who else here is single? And no one said anything. And I was like, <laughs> great! <laughs> is that load bearing? Like, it's so bad. <laughs> it's so bad. But it's hard because like, I, who's here is in a relationship? Clap if you're in a relationship. I don't know if we were happy about it. That was a tap. <laughs> that was a very like we just shared Netflix. I don't know. They don't want to pay for two accounts. I just I because I want I want to be in love. Like I can't like I can't find it. Like you two are lucky if you found each other. Cause like I feel like I just keep finding the trash fucking people in New York City. There's so many garbage men here. So so many. 
I once dated a guy who had eight roommates. Eight roommates. Are we fucking in a bus terminal? Like, what's happening? What is happening? This is how bad the dating scene is. I went to, um, was chatting with a guy who okay, Cupid, and he was like, wouldn't it be funny if we went on a date to McDonald's? And then we went on a date to McDonald's. That's how bad. You ever gone on a date to McDonald's? And then after, see, because you love yourselves. I get that. A bitch is over 30 and tired of paying for his own shit. Like, that's what happens. But the worst part is I went on a date to McDonald's, and I had to pay for my own shit at McDonald's. That's rude. You get coupon books in the mail. Come on. I'm only getting a four piece, Jesus. So like, I can't, I went on a date with this guy. And so this is what happened. So he, on the date, he was like, so I have to be honest with some things. I like, I'm out of jail. I was out of, I got, was in jail for selling crystal meth. Um, and technically I live in a halfway house. But then he said, but I have a master's degree. So I was like, mm, all right, I'll listen to that. <laughs> you know how to connect. Like, <laughs> stupid. So we went on this date, we finished the date. Do you think I should have gone on another date with this guy? No. no. Good, because I went on three more. So, <laughs> the dates kept getting better. The second date was at Starbucks. I was like, thank you. <laughs> I deserve a blonde rose, thank you. <laughs> but I was really, I was going on the dates because like, uh, we like did not, like we didn't have sex until like date number four, which is like really good for me because I'm not a like date number four sex person. Like, where was, who here had sex on the first date? Good, there's some hoes up in there. <laughs> like, I'm the kind of person who, like, I sleep with people before the first date. Like, that's what I uh, Like, I'll have sex with a guy, and the next morning, he'll be like, you want breakfast? I'm like, that's a date. Thank you. I will get a Western omelet. <laughs> so we went on four dates, and then we finally had sex, and I went to his halfway house to have sex. I know, class. And... <laughs> It was very awkward. <laughs> you have to live until you've had sex and it went in front of a beaded curtain because you're not allowed to have doors. So it's only a beaded curtain separating our lovemaking, very loosely stated, from someone loudly listening to Maury Povich. Like it's very weird. Where is like someone be like, you're not the father of calling someone daddy. Like it's very awkward. <laughs> And like, and here's the thing, like, he was very good at eating booty. I'm sorry to say <laughs> earmuffs, but he was very good at eating booty. So we were like, you remember that Janae Aiko song, Eat the Booty Like Groceries? Yeah. yeah. It was like that, but he was eating it like it was good groceries. You know what I mean? I was like, yeah, this is Whole Foods. Thank you very much. This ain't associated. This ain't associated. This ain't the Met. <laughs> this is Cinderella ass you have it. <laughs> Uh, I'm trying to date better, cause like, uh, but my standards are so bad. My friend was like, I will find someone for you. What kind of guy are you looking for? And I literally said, someone who pays taxes. Like, that's why I'm, <laughs> I'm just like, can I see a W-2? Can I see a W-2? I'll take a 1099. I'll take a 1099 at this point. <laughs> really don't care. <laughs> I don't know. Comedy's really fun, though. I've been able to travel a lot. Like, um, I did a show recently in a racist part of America. Uh, called All of It, and uh, <laughs> I did the show, it was in Pennsylvania, and uh, exactly, <laughs> someone's been there, because like, they were like, oh, the town's called East in Pennsylvania, and they're like, it's the birthplace of Crayola, and I was like, not the brown colors though, uh, <laughs> they did not allow sepia in Easton, <laughs> so I went there, and the host of the show starts off the show by going, I hope you're not a PC audience. And then he drops an N-word at the top of the show. Like an E-R N-word, right? Not like an N-word with an A where I'm like, oh, we're in Paris. Like there's a hard E-R. <laughs> this ain't Kanye, oh no. And so I know, so I was laughing like real hard. Cause the audience is like white, like white. Like they were so white, I thought someone came in my eye. Like it was very popular. <laughs> I was like, I'm wearing glasses. Like I don't, <laughs> me boca. And it was, um... <laughs> So I asked the booker, I was like, what's going on? This guy's dropping in where it's like, am I gonna have to give a TED talk? What's happening here? And he goes, I'm so sorry, it's because there are a lot of white power affiliates in the room. Oh. Let's break down the phrase white power affiliate. <laughs> First of all, don't add words after white power like that makes it better. I was gonna go, white power, <gasps> affiliate, oh, they just like it. Like, 
You guys have been excellent. Thank you so much. Yeah.